Since its inception in April 2020, the KICS Africa 19 Hub has engaged with all the 19 countries who have nominated their focal points and have validated the country needs and priorities. The Hub has held at least two meetings every month and has also engaged with the GPE focal points and local education groups. This has been a great opportunity to foster country ownership and visibility of the hub. The advent of the COVID-19 pandemic has however slowed down the responsiveness and participation of some country focal points in the KICS hub activities as well as online meetings. The pandemic has also created the need to strengthen teachers' competences in the use of ICTs for teaching and learning and assessment given that most learners are out of school. This has also created the need to devise new strategies to reach out to the marginalized children who are completely missing out on education. In the context of COVID-19, and recognizing that we are living in extremely challenging times, we at SUMA and OECS are very pleased to share with you that the KICS Hub for Latin America and the Caribbean already has 35 representatives from the eight country partners of the Global Partnership for Education. Amazingly, the members of this KICS Regional Hub are working in different institutions and environments, such as the Ministry of Education, National NGOs, Teachers Union and Academia. The most notorious impact of COVID-19 has been on national education budgets with the reallocation of public resources from the sector to support other social and economic challenges. In the context of the pandemic, the education sector is reinforcing previous priorities, such as the teacher professional development, initiatives like teacher training on distance learning, and the pedagogical use of information and communication technologies, or monitoring the learning progress of every student through the design and implementation of educational leveling plans to face the growing learning gaps of the most vulnerable. Finally, countries are also tackling the challenges imposed by COVID by first addressing the overall well-being of students and teachers. Dans le cadre de la mise en place du Centre Kix Afrique 21, nous avons enregistré une participation active des pays membres et une forte demande de la nécessité d'avoir un espace d'échange et de collaboration entre les pays et avec le Centre Kix Afrique 21. La pandémie de la COVID-19 nous a donné l'opportunité de réévaluer les priorités dans le secteur de l'éducation, comme les problématiques de l'égalité des genres, comme la problématique de la formation des enseignants pour l'acquisition, par exemple, des compétences clés dans le domaine du numérique afin d'assurer, n'est-ce pas, la continuité pédagogique. We are having a very positive response. More than half of the 21 countries have already a kick steering committee, with about 70 representatives from governments and education stakeholders. Some encouraging feedback. From Asia and Pacific, we heard this project is responding to their pressing needs. In Europe and Central Asia, there is confidence in what we are doing and how we are doing it. We confirm the importance of languages in our hub especially the use of Russian and Arabic. COVID-19 and its impact on the education sector has emerged as a priority area. Countries have had to come with imaginative solutions and learn by doing. There is consensus on the need to share this effort with all education stakeholders. We know COVID has exacerbated education inequalities. Leaving no one behind is an absolute priority that goes beyond this crisis and is at the, at the heart of our work to strengthen education systems and to promote and protect the right to education. <laughs>